We have a jam-packed day today. Today's the weekend, today's Saturday. I've been full potato egg mode, bald, haven't done my hair, natural nails, getting kind of pale. Yeah, I haven't worn makeup in a few days or a long time. So I thought I would do a quarantine glow up video. So I'm gonna dedicate the majority of today to glowing up um i love before and afters so i thought i would do that i hope you guys like this just i don't know <laughs> do some things to make me feel cuter and better some self-care so yeah i do have a bunch of things that i do want to do um, let me grab some things we have a jam-packed day today i have to do this strategically because some things take time to develop i have oh, i only brought the mitt over a oh, lot well. I have a fake I have fake tanner to do, so I'm gonna do that. That'll be one of the first things to do. I wanna do my nails today. I wanna update or refill my lash extensions. I did do them myself, but you know, of course, some have fallen out and you know they're worn in. So I'm gonna do that today. I wanna curl my hair today. I haven't curled my hair I think in like a month, honestly, like a month. So I kinda miss my curly hair. So I'm gonna do that probably at the end. And then we're gonna probably finish with some makeup. Um, I do maybe want to try not too crazy of a look because I'm not that good at makeup, but definitely like some new techniques for me. And I, and I do have like one more. Well, I have two more. I have two more white strips. So yeah, I've been doing this. I feel like it's a really good time to do white strips. So white strips and hopefully that's everything. I think that was a lot. So yeah. Oh, I also have my epilating kit here um so i'm gonna epilate before i do fake tanner so let's just jump into it <laughs> good thing i made a coffee because like it's gonna be a busy day okay so i changed i had to get more appropriate clothes for the activity so i think first i'm gonna epilate um just so there's no hair in the way for the self tanner hopefully you guys don't think i look so crazy i'm gonna plug it in and start epilating this is the epilator that i use it's from braun let's get epilating i'm just gonna do my legs because i don't really have too much arm hair so <laughs> Hey guys, so I did start doing the self tanner. I don't know why my camera didn't save the clip. I've been having memory card issues. We don't know, but I'm just going to continue on self tanning. I've done this arm and then my chest a bit. So yeah, we're just gonna continue. Hopefully it's saved. Okay, so I'm done with applying it. It does look super tan, so that's good. It's going to develop and get darker, and then when you wash it off, it's like a subtle version of it. I'm just gonna clean up and let it develop, and then I think next I'm going to do my lash extensions. Okay, so we've moved over to the desk. I think I'm gonna put a sweater on because it's so patchy. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna start doing the eyelash extensions. I don't have my mirror, so I have my mirror. I'll show you guys the supplies that I have. I'm hoping I would have put out my tutorial video on how to do it exactly with more detail. So if you guys are looking for how to do it in more detail, definitely check out that video. This video would just be purely for like before and after and a little bit 
of the time lapse so this is what i'm using for the glue i did peel off a little sheet of aluminum foil so i'm gonna use this i have medical grade tape for um, lifting my eyelid skin I'm a little spoolie and i have the tweezers so i have curved tweezers and straight tweezers and then i have the eyelash extensions that I'm going to use. These are a CC Curl 0.10 thickness, 13 mm leg. And yeah, we're just gonna jump into it. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna pop on my headphones so I can listen to some videos and stuff and get to work. Okay, so I'm done with the eyelashes. Super cute. They'll definitely look a lot better with makeup. Um, I'm gonna clean up now. We're gonna do our nails, and then first I'm gonna stick on the white strips and then do my nails. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in the crest white strips really quick. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm nasty. So it says to keep it on for 30 minutes. Take this buddy out to the top and a bottom one. Hello, so I thought I would do a voiceover for this. I'm just doing a really plain, natural French manicure. So the first step I'm doing here is cleaning the cuticles and also pushing them back. And then the second step is just to go in with a plain white nail polish. This one from Sinful Colors is really opaque, so I'm going to do two coats of that. I'm using a white nail polish because I'm going to go in with 100% acetone so you can make a really clean line for the French manicure with a brush. So I'm just using a cheap brush that I got from Target. It's from e.l.f. It's literally a dollar. So I just dip it into the acetone and then just make the smile line that I want. So after the acetone, I'm just going in with a normal nail polish remover and a Q-tip to clean up the nail bed. You will have some residue left over on your nail bed, so that's what I'm doing, just cleaning it up. Taking a break from the nails, my timer went off in the middle, so we're just going to go ahead and take it off. After this, you guys can put a sheer pink nail polish on top, but for me, I really don't mind the natural pink color of my nail bed, so I'm just going to leave that, and after that, I'm just going to put a top coat, and we should be done. It's really easy, you don't need that many products, and the outcome is really cute. Hi guys, I'm back. So I think we're like more than halfway there. This is how the self tanner has been developing. It's pretty uneven here, but I don't think I'm gonna wash it off just for time's sake. I'm just gonna keep it like this. I hope you guys are okay with that. As I showed you guys, the lashes are done. The finger, the fingers, the manicure is done. I just chose to do like a really plain French tip. I really like it. I've been liking to wear natural nails. I popped on my rings again just to accessorize. I was thinking I should accessorize with my earrings too, so let me grab them. So I don't really have too much jewelry, so I just keep it in this box that I got from Ana Luisa. So I have these little hoops that I want to wear. They're from Express. So let me just switch that out. I'm going to keep my necklace off, so should be fine 
this is really fun but also a good amount of work <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys liked me showing you how i did the french tip i got a few questions about that from a vlog so like yeah it's pretty easy you do need to practice and stuff so yeah earrings done so i'm gonna do my makeup i did film a get ready with me so if you guys want to see it in detail we do that i also picked out my outfit <laughs> here's my outfit i haven't tried it on Ooh, bra. <laughs> i haven't tried it on yet but um, i'm sure it'll look cute this is the a gold day jeans and this is from boohoo it's like a bralette but it's super sheer so i have like a really nude bra to wear underneath so yeah i'll do my makeup and i'm gonna do my hair i have my curling iron my newest curling iron heating up on the side and then i'm gonna change and then we'll be done i'm gonna moisturize oh it's so nice to have manicure nails it feels really nice um so now i'm gonna do my makeup face kind of want to do eyeshadow today maybe some eyeliner whoa i know i'm gonna finish up the base with some concealer okay then i'm gonna move on to brows brows i actually love doing my brows brows are like one of my favorite parts Doo -doo. okay what should we do next i'm gonna try to do something with my eyes the only makeup palette i have is this kevin kwan one it is a contour book it's not even like eyeshadow really but i'm gonna use what i have Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger and take this pretty highlight color and put it on my lid. And then I'm going to do a crease color. I'm gonna pop eyeliner out at the end. Do that. I'm just gonna put a little like line. See this brown brown spark matches this part. Lastly, I have lipstick. So next we're gonna do hair. So I'm gonna curl my hair. I wanna blend my makeup a little bit. It's a little messy. Okay, so I'm gonna do my hair now. I'm gonna clean up my makeup. And yeah. Here now I have my glove because I'm not that good at curling my hair with a curling rod. So okay, so I'm just going to take the back hair and just curl it. Like this. Yep. So I'm gonna do that all around my hair. Okay, the hair is done. Yep, I still have this on. I'm gonna change into my outfit and then we're done with the quarantine glow up. That was fun. It was a lot of work. Before I change, I thought I would show you the self tanner. So, here she is. Okay, so this is the full glow up the full look i hope you guys enjoyed this video this video was a lot of work but i think 
back comb is really good. I actually haven't curled my hair in like a month, so it looks pretty crazy. Have you guys noticed that like your hair is growing super fast during this time? So yeah, that's everything. We did eyelashes, nails, self-tanner, wore a cute outfit, did my hair, did new makeup, accessorized. <clears throat> Should we like put next to what I looked like in the beginning of this? <sighs> we're like french fry now, you know? Before we were a potato, but now we're like a decadent french fry. I will end it at that. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the before and after and the whole progress. It was so much fun filming this. But it has come to an end. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! she's up to calm down if i close my eyes and focus on my own mind for a while then it doesn't matter this love's all i remember